Next, let's take a look at how to personalize your website with images and interactive content. In this section, you'll learn how to add content, edit text and pages, edit images, and move and resize content. Let's get started. On the right side of the page that you want to add content to, click Insert, or you can double click on the page where you want to add the content to. Choose the content you want to add. Text box adds titles and text. Embed URL adds photos, designs, and other images. Images add content directly from the web, such as music and videos. Upload documents, photos, videos, PDFs, or other documents from your device. From Google Drive, you can embed any file from Drive or its contents of a folder, a Drive folder, stored in Drive. If you make changes to your files in Drive, the same changes automatically show in Sites. Google Embeds lets you add YouTube videos such as product trailers or company ads, calendars such as team or event calendars, and maps such as office locations, event directions, or custom maps. Google Docs lets you add anything from docs, sheets, slides, forms, or charts to your site. Any content you change in the source file will be automatically updated on your site. I've made a separate video on each of these items so that you can explore more of what Google Suite has to offer. Next, I want to explore more about editing text and pages. To edit text or page titles, just click on the box and type or from the toolbar above the text box, select another option. I'm going to add a text box, so I'll click the text box and it'll appear immediately below the site header. To select a preset heading or select normal text for additional formatting options. Bold and italics. Here, adjust the text alignment for left, center, right, and justify. Here for numbered lists or control shift seven, bullet lists or use control shift eight. And my favorite one is the hyperlink or control K. Use this one to link to any other website or document that you want to place a link to. And the delete or the trash can, which will delete the entire text box. Here is the code text styler. Select the text and you can strike through it here. Or select your text and clear the formatting. And very helpful features is copy, cut and paste with the keyboard shortcuts. Control X for cut. I see scissors when I look at the X. Control C for copy. Control V for paste. When I look at the V key, it looks like it's pasting down onto something. So I control V for paste in here. Then I can highlight the text and select a formatting option from the floating toolbar. The new Google Sites keeps things clean and consistent, so you can format anything based on however your theme is selected. Hover over a section to change it. To change the background for each section, click the style and select a style. You can also select an image to add a background image.
Google Sites notices the image and tries to adjust it for best formatting by either changing the background image slightly or the font so that it's readable. It does a great job doing this. I know I've created my own gallery of images that will be perfect for this. So it's a good time to even just stock up on your own creative art collection. You can resize these text boxes just by clicking the blue ball and adjusting how you need. Let's add an image by uploading it from my computer. I'll just select the images from the insert menu. Then I'll find it on my computer, select it, and click open. Now I need to upload it into Google Sites or I can add more files. Let's select upload. Once the progress is completed, we can drag the sides or corners of the image. You can also hold the shift key to keep the image ratio. From here you can crop the image, just drag the ball to resize it. It will show you what is selected in this lighter section in true color. Then when you're done making your adjustments, you can select the check mark to save your changes. To uncrop an image, click the uncrop button and the hyperlink button to make links to, for any of the images that you have placed throughout your site. Just type the address here or select one of the pages from your site. When you're done, click apply. To make edits to the hyperlink, click the pencil icon and make your changes and click apply. Or select the trash can here to delete the link entirely. From the more menu we can replace images or add alternative text. Alternative text is accessed by screen readers for people who might have trouble seeing your content. You can describe it here. When you're done click apply. Replacing an image is pretty easy too. Just select the more menu, click replace image, and find it in your Google Drive or your albums. When you're done, click select. And of course, you can always move and edit your content just by dragging and resizing. Thanks for watching this video. And in our next video, we're going to share and collaborate the Google site that we've made here.